Hi Chewies, here's your Alexandra and welcome back to how to paint a rusty surface. So, where we last left off, uh, I have created the scratches and you can now see the rust underneath. And now we will go and give this uh, surface a little bit more of three-dimensional look. For this instance, <coughs> I use a triple zero uh, Colibri, a uh, three 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 double zero Colibri, very tiny brush. <coughs> and what I do now is I uh, will highlight with very fine lines the lower edges of these rust spots. The more fine you can uh, achieve these lines, the better it is. Uh, as color, I'm using right now a 50-50 mix <coughs> of Space Wolf Gray and Enchanted Blue. So, and a nice and liquid version of the color is a good start. And of course you need uh, a good point on your brush. There we go. No, that's not good. <coughs> so I have many people complaining about uh, this tutorial that I have stolen it from Massive Voodoo. <coughs> well, to be honest, yes, I did. And the reason why I did this is simply for the fact <coughs> that the video from Massa Voodoo is only in German. And, well, only 10% of my subscribers are German and uh, in this whole uh, YouTube community <coughs> there are a massive more amount of people that are not German. And so I thought, well, why should we don't let everybody else know how this technique works. So I thought to myself, well, I can do this, I can translate this. And so I did. And uh, the reason why I'm <coughs> so close to the original is simply for the fact, never change a running system. The video is good from Massive Voodoo and so I did. So this stage here is very, very <coughs> time intensive and, um, well, to make it real, the real deal, <coughs> you, uh, well, you must highlight almost every of these scratches, but in the end it is worth it. So I hope you can already see the effect. <coughs> and I think uh, for demonstration purposes this is enough. What we do now is uh, <coughs> giving uh, this even more three-dimensional look with a little bit of ink. Well, Massive Voodoo uh, mixes up other colors, but uh, I prefer wash. <coughs> you can go for yourself what you prefer. And now. You will now darken the upper part of these rust spots. So, slightly darken it with a wash. <coughs> and so you have already a more three-dimensional look to it. So, and I think that for demonstration purposes also enough. 
What you also can do is now uh, create a <coughs> water line. Uh, rust is running down the surface. I, for that instance, also uh, like to use washers. On the massive photo video, you will see uh, the people use oil paints for that, but I think that's not important. <coughs> Simply darken the surface here with this wash. <coughs> Always in straight lines down. And for this instance, uh, I'm taking Griffon Sepia. Let the first coat dry a little bit, and then <coughs> you go back, also with fine lines, but not uh, the whole surface now. Only, uh, let me say, three water lines. this. Let this dry again and do it then the third time or a fourth time <coughs> or as many times as you wish. <coughs> and the more often you do this the more intense this will get. What you can do also is uh, take a little bit of a wash uh, about a black and Griffon sepia mixed, <coughs> and then you can uh, tap down here the uh, rivets and bolts to give it more of a three dimensional look. Also, here, this part. So. <coughs> and I hope. This video tutorial uh, has given you some insights in weathering a surface and if you want to see the original in German then click in the link down below. This will uh, bring you to the video from Massafudo and <coughs> we will see us in the next video. See you. You're Alexandra.